Hi guys, I um, asked you to send me some stuff because quite a lot of you wanted to get to know me better so here's the 40 odd questions that you sent me. My favourite film and why? My favourite film, film is Forrest Gump because it's just mind blowingly good. There's no really reasons for that, it's just a good movie. Most embarrassing moment in the No, the most embarrassing moment. Um, I was about 13 or 14. How old are you when you're in second year? I was 13 when you were. And um, I was in second year school and I liked this boy. And he was walking up and I was walking down for the next class. And um, I was too busy watching him and didn't watch where I was going. And um, this girl was like bent over in front of me, like fixing her shoe <laughs> or her back. <laughs> on her back and then my head went right up her backside and she didn't even notice or move or say anything but he noticed and Amy noticed and Amy laughed for 25 minutes straight and he never spoke to me again so yeah or when I peed myself in primary one because the teacher was evil and I was like I need the toilet you need to do the hokey cokey so you put your left arm in your left arm out and then my leg and then it was just downhill from there really so see if she ever if you're watching this miss lennox you're evil okay. evil um, most, annoying person in my life at the most annoying person in my life at the moment todd and i know you're watching it because i was halfway done and you phoned me so i blame you for all happiest moment of your life happiest moment of my life meeting the wanted because there's too many to actually pick uh, I didn't know who was who. I didn't even like them. I get dragged. And I was calling like Tom, Max, Max, J, J, Z. I thought it was bad. Oh, it was bad. But it was dead funny. So. Favourite food? Favourite food. If there's mushrooms in it, if it's spicy, I'll probably eat it. Uh, Favourite song of all time? Favourite song of all time. Named by the Goo Goo Dolls because it's just a good song. <laughs> One slave that annoys me. <clears throat> one slave that annoys me. There's many, like many, trust me, but one that does my nut in the most. I don't even think she's a celebrity now I'm thinking about it, but they're on the telly so she counts. Is that orange face vajazzled thing called Amy Child? Shut up! <laughs> Take your own advice, hen, and go away because you can act and you're a pain in ass. Difficult moment in my life. Difficult moment in my life. Coming to terms with the fact that I was dying probably, being I was told for like six months to leave it, and then they were like, Oh, by the way, you're gonna die, and I was like, Oh, thanks for that. Uh, biggest phobia. Biggest phobia, snakes, and the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Subway, McDonald's. Subway McDonald's. This is Sophie's choice, and whoever asked me should rot in hell. Um, McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at you. McDonald's. <laughs> Just because you're a vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, favourite people in Tumblr and Why? Favourite people in Tumblr and Why? Okay. Emma, because she's always there for me and making sure I'm not doing anything stupid, which is all the time. Fraser, because he's always there to just see how my day is, ask me how I am. Naomi, because she's giving me a dirty look because I've not mentioned her yet. <laughs> Kirsty, because she's an Escape the Fate fan. Tatum, Beth and Amy <clears throat> because they followed me when I was um, Alex in Wonderland. Kristen because I got her obsessed with Vampire Diaries um, and she's a big Harry Potter fan. Kat because she's really pretty and I love her hey, bits. Kat. Naomi says hi. <laughs> um, <sighs> Sarah. Sarah who's left me and went to London. Um, because she's like my best friend and it's odd because we've never met but yeah she's gonna kill me for that isn't she <laughs> yeah um, sorry Sarah <laughs> how did you cope with your illness um does it still affect you did I what how did you cope with your illness does it still affect you um my illness all right um I didn't really cope with it I just kind of pushed it to the back in my mind and like accepted that it was there you know what I mean like mm. It's, it all happened that fast, there was not really time to take into account what was happening, so I just kind of agreed with it. Um, it still affects me now because obviously I've got depression and stuff, so counsellors, I'm scarred, all that, but the worst is over, so I can only go forward.
Uh, favourite bands. Favourite bands, right? Okay, okay. I will do it as many as I can, right? I'm not going to get through why, I'm just going to say. The Wanted, Fallen in Reverse, Escape the Fate, The Goo Goo Dolls, Three Days Grace, Lost Prophets, Fallout Boy, My Chemical Romance, All Time Low, and Fame and Hanley. <laughs> Alright, okay. Three songs in London. Right, okay, I like both, but the Wanted are better. I know it's horrible, but they are, so. Um, my favourite member from the Wanted is Mr. Ziva, because he's crazy and he's up there. And, um, and probably up there and there and there and everywhere. Um, because when I spoke to him in Glasgow, my hair had started falling out from being ill and he told me I was pretty and I was to keep my chin up. And he was really sweet about it. I mean, I was mortified, but he wasn't, so you know. Um, my favourite song is probably Glad You Came, I'll Be Your Strength or All Time Low, because it's All Time Low. Um, One Direction, I don't mind One Direction, alright, I've converted slightly. Um, I like Niall? Is that the blonde one? <laughs> I'm such a fan. Um, Niall, I like Niall because he's dead cute. And I like uh, Stole My Heart and One Thing. Um, overrated things. Overrated things. Your first kiss. Now I have like seven people on my blog like, oh my god, there's something wrong with me. I've never been kissed. It's overrated. Just, it, like, you bulk yourself up for this moment and it's like, yes, it's going to happen. And it happens and you go, that was it. It's like, no, that's one of them. I've never had it, but apparently sex is one as well, says other people. It is. <laughs> um, what else is overrated? Relationships. Relationships. Be single. Save money, save time. Don't be, don't get clingy. Don't it? No, just be yourself. It makes life easier. What else is overrated? Mm-hmm. Popularity. popularity and like being that popular girl and or popular guy. No, just be yourself. Cause then people are only going to be friends with you because you're a popular kid. If you're just a normal kid, then your friends are your friends. Total logic there. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Uh, do people who attention seek deserve attention? Um, do people who attention seek deserve attention? Well, yes, I know because like some people who don't get any attention off their parents or like their guardians, whatever, they go looking for the attention somewhere else. So sometimes it's easier to give them attention, so like they stop going out of control and drinking and whatever. But then there's people like there's a girl at my school who I won't say her name. It's not her, by the way. Mm-hmm. And um. Oh. <laughs> Who's like, I get five on conditions for university and like 35 million A's and my dad bought me a convertible. I don't want a convertible. I don't want to go to uni. Some people like me would kill to go to uni, so just go away, basically. So, yes and no. Good question. <coughs> Mental illnesses, yes, are illnesses. Um, it must be absolutely horrible being trapped in your own head constantly. So, yeah. Do you think people who end their lives are selfish? People who kill themselves. Yes, I know. Yes, because if you've got like younger brothers and sisters, older brothers and sisters are gonna wonder why. And all that's gonna get tore up. Like the people that find you when you've actually killed yourself, they're gonna blame themselves and stuff and that's selfish that you're willing to hurt people like that, but at the same time no because they shouldn't have drove you to want to feel like that in the first place. They should want. They should show that they care all the time, and not just when it's too late to care. If you know what I mean. So yes, I'm all for that one. Uh, what is the hardest day you've been to? The hardest day I've ever been to. Um, when I went to school the first day after my operation, and everybody knew that I'd had one, and I was like six stone, and my hair had fell out, and oh, and people kept giving me the sympathetic note and the. How you doing? And the, all that crap. Like people who'd never even spoke to me before, and I had to get through the whole six hours without killing somebody. Great thing. Oh, uh, do your videos help people? <clears throat> do my videos help people? I hope so. But um, one of my followers, I won't say her name in case she kills me, um, has got a boyfriend now because she took some of my advice. So you never know. But I hope so. Oh, uh, yes, no. Favorite book? Twilight. Hell yes. I was a Twilighter before the big hype, so I'm quite happy 
My favourite book out of the series was Eclipse because that was all the action and you got to know about Jasper and stuff. Um, my favourite character is Alice or Carlisle. And in the movies, my favourite character, I hate to admit it, is probably Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Just because they play it so well. But I hated Kristen Stewart through it all and called Breaking Dawn, which is the best movie. When she died, I was literally in tears. It was so bad. <laughs> um, what's your personality? What's your personality? Personality, but if you're hot, it would help. <laughs> oh, relationships is. Relationships is. I'm single, Pringle. How many people do you see right now? Oh, virgins for none. But in my head, lots of people. <laughs> um, <laughs> relationships is. I got an alright with my parents. Um, if you want to know more, look at my very first video because this is like the third time I've been asked this question. No offence. <laughs> Biggest fears. Biggest fears. Um, failing. Being like branded as worthless. If you know I mean like one of those people who go to like the brew and all that kind of stuff. Like, no, there's anything wrong with that. Some people need help, but like one of the people who just refuse to that kind of thing and dying and. Stuff like that. You do stuff you're scared of growing up, basically, mm. in a way. So yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Dream job. I really wanted to be a writer. And I really wanted to be a wedding dress designer when I was like seven, but now I really want to be a nurse. So I'm not bothered. Just as long as I'm helping somebody somehow, I don't care. Would you date any of your followers? Would I date any of my followers? Mm. Um. Yes. <laughs> I date cat. <clears throat> I would date Naomi. I would date Sarah because she'll kill me for forgetting her in the first one. <laughs> um, Fraser, Emma, all of you, because they're all really nice. Unless you're under ten or under fifty, then probably not. Yeah, then that's no. Well, yeah, under sixteen. Then no. Yeah, under 16, yeah, you're no. You're <laughs> then no, because I'm like nearly eighteen, so no. But there's quite a lot of you, yeah. Oh, favourite memory. Favourite memory. Oh, going to see um, All Time Low with Amy in September and she was so ill that we went anyway and Alex Gaskarth was like right there and Jack was right there mm -hmm. and oh, it was so fun and then we left and I screamed at the top of my lungs Jack's name and then Jack came back on stage and kind of looked about as if who the hell shouted at me there and I was like, ah, hey. <laughs> It was good. Um, or <clears throat> again, meet me wanted. That was great. Yeah. Ever been in love? Ever been in love? Unfortunately enough, yeah. <laughs> um, right. Don't think I'm being like cynical or anything here, but overrated waste of time. It's just. It is at your age, though. Yeah, but like, how messed up am I now because of that? Yeah, same. Uh, exactly. But um. <laughs> Yes, I have been in love, and um, I don't regret it or nothing, but I wish it had ended better than the way it did. Is that a nice way of putting it? Mm -hmm. right, we'll, we'll put it that way and leave it there then. Well, uh, if you want tattoos. Do I want tattoos? I do want tattoos. I want a dove on the back of my neck for my papa. I want um, mascara, and I want all that covered, so roses or a koi fish or something. Um, I want hope on my th inside of my finger and then just whatever I decide near the time when I'm bored because <laughs> it's like me in it. Hmm. Five ways to win my heart. Five ways to win my heart. Okay, if you're Irish or can do an Irish accent, I'm yours. Um, if you bring me flowers, if you can play an instrument, um, if you can make me laugh, that would help. And if you can sit through Disney movies and or Harry Potter and or Vampire Diaries, then yeah, it's gonna work. If not, then we have no future. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> what happened. Come on, a guy that doesn't or girl that doesn't like Harry Potter. Yeah, I can. Either. It couldn't. No. Yeah. Exactly. See, she could either. It's not just me. It's not just Scottish people. I'm sure there's hundreds of people. Just there you go. <laughs> Lovely put. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Nicest thing that anyone's ever done to you. Nice thing anyone's ever done to you. Um, 
Kirsty came to see me when I was in the hospital with Courtney and her mum and I was getting a drip in and I'm petrified of needles but like like I know I say I want tattoos now I'm like oh, I'm scared of needles but like when you can see the needle if you know what I mean I freaked out and Co Kirsty had to leave Kirsty's terrified of like needles in your veins and Courtney held my hand and the nurse told her to get out and Courtney argued with the nurse because she knew I was scared mm -hmm. and he was like holding on to me and stuff that was oh, it was just nice to have somebody there um, that and my teacher getting me a teddy bear when my wee sister was born mm -hmm. which I thought was good cute it was like primary four or something mm -hmm. <laughs> um, one of my wee followers told me I could be the next JK Rowling and I actually sat and cried. I was like, oh, that's never gonna happen, but you never know. That was probably, yeah. Um, most vivid nightmare. Most vivid nightmare. Again, I was in the hospital and the medication I was on was making me go a bit mad and I had a dream that me and my sister went to a town and um, this guy was trying to steal her. But like, my sister means everything to me and she was like, it was her when she was younger and the guy was like trying to pull her into a van and I was like holding on to her and I was screaming and like trying to hit him and trying to hold on to her and she was crying and stuff and then um, when the nurses woke me up I was holding my teddy bear like I was holding my sister in the dream and I was like my legs were hanging out the bed even though I couldn't walk mm. and she said I had been shouting my sister's name and stuff so that was horrible and then when she came to visit me I basically just like, held on to her like no she's staying here. Mm. Horrible. Um, so, word of warning, don't ever come near my sister or <laughs> I might kill you. <laughs> How did you feel on so Deleted See, the only thing about the whole Deleted Your Blog thing is the fact I know who it was. So, uh, it hurt like hell because there was like counsellor posts, photos, family photos, everything was on it. Mm. And it was gone. Like, a whole year and a half of dedication was gone. And it was just out of pure spitefulness. So, uh yeah, it was a bit of kick in the teeth, to be honest. But, you know, I have my new one. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Not that whole grudges or anything. Inspiration for your stories. Inspiration for my stories. Um, stuff is happening in my life for, like, some of my followers. Like, they might come to me with some problems. And sometimes, hard to believe. I might not always know what to say. Like, I know how to say it, but I don't know how to to put it across. So sometimes writing's easier. Um, or general boredom. Mm -hmm. Or um, if I'm having a rough time and have urges and stuff, writing's the best way to like distract myself. So sometimes it's just reflection on how I'm feeling. <coughs> See, that was a nice answer. Name Scorpio the girl of boy. Oh okay. Is it worrying there was a guy that asked me this by the way? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, if I had a wee girl, I would call her Leone. If I had a wee boy, I'd call him Daniel. But it all depends on what their second name's going to be really, doesn't it? Yeah. But I don't know, because I don't know who I'm going to marry, so... Yeah, but that's that's what I call them. Mm -hmm. Um, favourite charity program? Right, okay, <laughs> Rosie and Jim! Freaky! It wasn't freaky! Right, okay, message me if you remember Rosie and Jim, Bear okay? Bear in a big blue house, that was awesome. Hilltop Hospital, Mop Top Shop, Between anything on CITV, <laughs> Tweenies, <laughs> um, Dog and Duck, I like Dog and Duck, that was good. What else did I watch? I was a big Disney kid though. I like how we caught Red Red and Ever stuff like Red Red and Eddie. Yeah, but then again, we're 90s kids, aren't we? So it was like Dexter's Laboratory, Cow and Chicken. Yeah. Baboon and Weasel. That was a great movie. Fresh, that was fresh great. Prince. Fresh Prince, of course. Yeah. Before Will Smith got all big and famous. Yeah. He was just Will Smith. Funny fucker. It was great. <laughs> you know what happened? You know. 90s, see if you. Keenan and Kel. Keenan and Kel was my childhood. Oh, yeah, yeah. See if you don't know who that is. Or see if you're going out with someone who doesn't know who that is. You need to dump them. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> then it's obvious that they're too young because they don't remember Keenan and Kel. <laughs> don't start on me. These <laughs> kids are the best. Just so you know, we're slightly hyper. We've had like a whole tub of energy. So <laughs> it's her fault. <laughs> uh, favourite colour? Favourite colour? Blue. As you can kind of tell, because my wallpaper. <laughs> Favourite word? Favourite word. How do you answer that? There's like... Um... Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Because it's the longest word I've ever seen in my life and I can't spell it. Which is the longest word? It's 236 letters. 
You had to read them up for read, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, favorite Pokemon. <laughs> favorite Pokemon. Pikachu. I suppose it's Pikachu, but I like Poliwag because yeah. I could draw it. It was the only Pokemon I could draw. I could draw. I need to draw a picture. No, yeah, I'm gonna video later her picture, just so you can all see. Anyway, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> can you remember your first guess? Can I remember my first guess? I will never forget my first guess because he basically farted the crap out of me in the process. He stood on me, he headbutted me, he bit my lip and burst it, and then kind of knocked me over. So yeah, again, if you want more detail on that, go to the very first video because it's on there too. Okay. Never kiss your friends, it doesn't work. That's it. Well, that was fun. So, thank you for the odd questions. <laughs> These are quite odd people. Um, the next couple of videos are going to be what grind my gears. Because <laughs> I'm trying to. Um, <laughs> relationships, breakup advice, and celebrities, I think, because there's been quite a lot of people on my dash asking for this. So, um. I'll keep these all posted, but um, fill my ask if you want any more ideas. I'll hopefully be less hyper, and we'll take it seriously. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.